Hey guys, it's Paul again. Um, so now I'm going to go over the eyelash strip applica application part of your state board exam. Um, they do include safety criteria and procedure criteria for you guys, so that's nice um, that you have to follow once you get to this portion of the test on the real thing. Um, for this section, they actually are gonna give you 14 minutes to do the whole thing, um, which should be plenty of time. Like I said, we've been practicing state board since you guys have started school, so by the time you're done, you should get a pretty good time going. Um, so I have the actual PSI right here. If you guys need one at home, you can just Google Texas PSI and it'll take you directly to this copy that I do have. Um, so I'm just gonna read off the steps right quick and then also go over the safety criteria. So for the procedure criteria, they want you to sanitize and clean your hands um, prepare the mannequin for service, prepare the strip lash, and then they want you to actually apply the strip lash. Um, note, this is all gonna be done on a mannequin. Um, and then the safety criteria, they wanna make sure that you properly dispose of waste material, ensure the workstation or your area remains sanitary. Um, they also want you to uh, ensure draping is maintained throughout the service, replace contaminated items, ensure containers remain closed when not in use, making sure your kit remains sanitary and then avoiding cross-contamination. Um, during this portion, they'll let you know when you have seven minutes remaining. Like I said, you should get to the point where you don't even need to get to that halfway point because you've already been so used to doing this. So now I'm going to drape first. So doing my towel and then my cape. You'll know, I did towel, cape, towel, cape, towel. Um, so that's what I just would recommend. And we're just going to secure the cape. So now I'm reading one by one what you're supposed to do. So of course they want you to sanitize and clean your hands. So sanitize. Preparing mannequin for service. That's when you would put the uh, head headband on. I braided mine. Um, I want you guys to use your headband, what comes in your um, state board kit. Um, so headband or the cap that they that you can also use for that. Um, now we're going to prepare the strip lash. And you can just go to the store and buy any lash that they do have on a strip. It doesn't have to be a certain brand or quality, just as long as they can visibly see that you're applying the lash correctly. So this is what it'll look like. And I actually don't have lash glue for these, so we're just gonna use this. It's nail glue, but we're gonna just, so you can see it visually. So you'll apply your lash glue. For those of you that don't know, lash glue will get tacky, so you need to let it sit for a little bit. Um, and then I actually have one of these that I would use to kind of just brush off any residue that the um, lash line might have. And then you'll use little eyelash tweezers and take it and you'll actually apply it on that way. Like so. And when you're done, um, you'll raise, oh, before you raise your hand, a uh, little pro tip, throw everything away that you've used. So once you're done with that portion, take everything off, dump it in your bag, Spray everything down, sanitize your section, and then raise your hand. It saves you time, so you're not having to do that before you start your next section for the next thing on the list. So I hope this was helpful. Again, um, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Um, and if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to tag me on either group, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thanks.